I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and it's a crisp October day, and I've got an autumnal spring in my step, so let's answer some of your questions, shall we? Today's missive comes to us from Jamie, who writes, I've always been a Ravenclaw by every other quiz out there, but Pottermore says I'm a Hufflepuff, and I did a quiz a few years ago on a different account, and it said Gryffindor. Please help. I'm torn. Ah! Now, when I first read this, I was understandably perplexed. I thought perhaps it was some sort of riddle someone had sent me, something akin to that old classic, why is a raven like a writing desk? The answer, of course, being that both will make you violently ill if you try to eat them in one go. You can have that one for free. But while I was puzzling it over, my associate, Mr. Kessler, informed me that this had to do with a series of children's adventure novels about a young boy named Harry Potter. Now, it seems that when these, these Harry Potter books first came out, there was a great deal of, of ballyhoo and concern from the religious communities that it would entice and seduce young people into wizardry and witchcraft. But their fears were misplaced. Instead, it seems to have made children interested in the British class system, and indeed in the rather specific version presented in the stories whereby uh, all these students that attend this school are sorted into four houses that sound like wartime desserts. Now, if these religious persons had been students of the human condition, they wouldn't have been surprised, because we love to categorize ourselves. We love to figure out who belongs in what group, whether someone is a representative of one of the four humors, or which astrological star sign best reflects a person's personality. We do it all the time. It, it comes, I think, from our, our species having evolved a really refined sense of pattern recognition, a skill that allows us to recognize which berries are poisonous and whether there's some form of apex predator hiding in the foliage. But when we apply those same skills to each other, it begins to fall down a bit, as evidenced by the confusion created. Besides, there's really only one categorization system which works for every single person, and that is you're either a cat person or an irredeemable monster. Make your choice wisely. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.